their meeting also recommended for its approval by a five to two vote they did recommend it go from ch to cg instead of the full ch zoning um, with that there is some background <clears throat> and updates since the planning commission i will say that i have received one letter of opposition uh, from someone in the area they did wish to remain anonymous but they were concerned about the type of businesses, the noise, and they mentioned some roaming from the property from previous uses from people. So I would, I would share that with the commission at this time, just as an update since the planning commission. Any questions? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, typically for uh, zoning conditions to be that onus on the front side, there was a reason for that. Can you give us a little background on that, please? Yes, sir, and I agree with you. Um, we looked at the minutes for the approval, and it looks like this particular case, when it was approved, was the first property on this side of the street to obtain or ask for commercial zoning, highway commercial zoning. We didn't find anything that pointed to a large number of opposition at the public hearing. Uh, we were expecting it, but we just didn't see it. So maybe there was some contact with the commissioners not as a part of the public hearing, but um, we didn't find the records that would substantiate those kind of conditions um, but they were the first highway commercial zoning on this side of the street so maybe that had something to do with it as well okay any other questions mr. chairman I, I received an anonymous call too I, and I don't know I don't I prefer that people let me know who they are sure. or, or stuff like that but this particular person in that area was, was seemed to be concerned of another club or something to that effect being off there but no, that's going to be in this area. I, I don't know. But. Okay. We are able to, if we go with the other zonings, like I've done several times, just line item out nightclubs and things like that. So you can address that with a variation to the zoning. Okay. Any other questions? One more. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Jason, did, did you discuss CG with the applicant, or did anyone discuss CG with the applicant? Yes, sir. We, um, Ms. Carmel and I have been talking to Mr. Thompson for a little while about which commercial zoning to pursue. And um, I believe he's fully aware of, of either zoning. And honestly, at the end of the day, I think he'll be happy, um, probably happier with CH. But I think he'll just be excited to remove that condition and be able to market the property for more than just the used car lot. The adjoining properties are CG, correct? Uh, the one to the south is actually CH with some conditions. It's the um, Intervest uh, Investment Office. And the conditions are about buffering and parking, so they don't have any use restrictions. Okay. And then the property to the north, the manufactured home sales lot and the rock and rodeo type use, those are actually CC. So you have a mixture on this side of the street. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, hearing none, we'll move forward. Agenda 